Hello Budgie Nation and here are some Budgie questions answered like when is a Budgie breeding season? Budgie's breeding season for experienced Budgie breeders should be once per year. Budgie species are monogamous and Budgies are very loyal to the partner they are bonded to. They will help each other raise their offspring. As a Budgie keeper, you probably know that Budgies aren't shy. They are curious and when it comes to breeding, they will start right away if you have a healthy pair. Can you breed budgies all year round? Pet budgies can breed at any time of the year. Just provide breeding conditions for a pair of budgies. Just provide space, nest box, and nutritious food. Do not forget for budgie breeding temperature, it is not advised to breed budgies if you keep them in cold areas. Most important to know, a pair of budgies can breed and lay eggs until they die. You, as a breeder, should stop and prevent pairs from breeding all the time. Excessive egg laying in female budgies results in the sucking of calcium because the process of laying the eggs sucks calcium from the body. And your budgie will become calcium deficient. It is recommend to breed a pair of budgies only once per year for their well-being. At what age do budgies start breeding? Budgies are ready for breeding after six months, but it is not recommended and allowed to breed budgies until they are at least 12 months old. Young and inexperienced budgies will probably fail at parenting. There will be eaten eggs, hurt babies, or even left alone. Female budgies may start laying eggs even without a nest box. For healthy baby budgies, you need the healthy pair of budgies to be at least a year old. Best bedding for baby birds. You must use nest box bedding wood shavings. What I personally use is an organic cat litter. Yes, real cat litter. Organic cat litter is naturally made from plant fibers that act like a sponge. Using nest box bedding, you keep the nest box clean and healthy, and most importantly, you prevent splaying eggs in baby budgie chicks. When you set up a breeding cage right, you can start your budgie breeding season right away. Female budgies without a partner can die from egg binding, so here are some tips. Egg binding occurs when a female budgie is unable to lay an egg naturally, leading to potentially life-threatening consequences if left untreated. One of the primary causes is inadequate nutrition and calcium deficiency in the female budgie's diet, leading to weakened muscles and difficulties in expelling the egg. Breeding-related factors can also play a role, especially in young or inexperienced birds attempting to lay eggs. Physical abnormalities or health issues, such as a malformed reproductive tract or egg-related infections, can hinder the smooth passage of eggs. Additionally, stressful environments, improper nesting conditions, or disturbances during the laying process may contribute to egg binding. Recognizing the symptoms of egg binding in budgies is crucial for early detection and prompt intervention. When a female budgie is experiencing egg binding, she may display visible distress and discomfort, often seen through frequent vocalizations or flapping wings. Straining to lay an egg is a common sign, with the budgie appearing restless and spending extended periods in the nesting area. Lethargy and weakness can also be observed, as the bird's energy is directed towards the challenging task of passing the egg. The budgie's feathers may appear fluffed up, and there might be a decrease in usual activity levels. A loss of appetite and signs of dehydration can be evident. Gentle massages and warm baths can be administered to aid in egg passage while ensuring the budgie has access to fresh water and calcium supplements can be beneficial. However, if the condition persists or worsens, seeking professional veterinary intervention is crucial. A veterinarian can assess the severity of the situation, provide appropriate medical treatment, and, if necessary, perform egg removal under safe conditions. Hormonal treatments might be prescribed to prevent future egg binding episodes. <laughs> Removing an egg binding by hand, especially pushing out an egg, is an extremely risky and potentially harmful practice. Attempting to manually remove the egg can cause serious injuries to the bird and may result in complications such as internal damage, bleeding or infections.
Finding an egg can actually save the budgie's life. Unfertilized eggs are relatively common in female budgies and they are usually passed without any issues. When an egg breaks inside the bird's reproductive tract, it can result in the release of egg contents into the abdomen, causing egg yolk peritonitis. This condition occurs when the egg material triggers inflammation and infection in the abdominal cavity. I visited a budgie breeder and here are some tips. Many consider budgerigars to be insignificant. Budgerigars are considered of lesser value. Budgerigars are seen merely as a source of personal gain. In such cases, these budgerigars receive nothing. They reproduce relentlessly for two, three years without respite. They feed budgerigars with stale bread. They only breed budgerigars for the purpose of selling. To buy supplements for the parrot, allow the parrot to have three clutches and then rest for a couple of months. To provide cuttlebone, millet bar, minerals. This is a parrot that undoubtedly carries more responsibility and work than some larger parrots if we engage in their care. According to the book on English budgerigars themselves, their evaluation and breeding are much more complicated than with other parrots. They need their diet improved, mandatory mineral and vitamin supplements provided. They need to be given conditions for flight, for life, for breeding. Then you will have healthy and beautiful parrots. What are the health issues to consider when breeding budgies? One of the worst challenges in breeding and raising budgies is dealing with viral diseases. These diseases can stem from genetics, the FM virus, or even stress. As a result, they may start losing feathers, especially flight feathers. In such cases, these birds are not recommended for further breeding. One of the most significant concerns is the presence of pests in the nest box. Mites, which can be damaging to birds, often exhibit symptoms of illness later on. When you purchase a bird after four to five months, you might not realize that it has mites. These mites can invade the bird's lungs, leading to its eventual death and causing significant suffering. Additionally, it's important to closely monitor young birds for any signs of deformities or potential blood-related issues. Many people acquire birds without being fully aware of these potential concerns. What are signs of laying budgie eggs? Once your budgie is mature enough, its cera becomes brown rather than pale blue. This indicates that they are ready to mate. Budgies typically mate and become pregnant in the spring. It can happen at any time of the year, but this is the most common. Budgies lack genitals, but do possess a cloaca. It affects both male and female budgies. The cloaca is an aperture for the digestive, urinary, and reproductive tract. This says that birds utilize it not only to expel feces and urine, but also to mate. As a result, there are no separate apertures. Courtship takes place prior to mating. There isn't much to see in terms of physical signs, because this is not the typical pregnancy. Don't expect big bellies and swelling. It's a little different, which is why we're here to explain it. There is a slight weight gain, but it is only present for two days. That is when you will notice that your budgie is pregnant. Aside from that, the weight gain is minimal. Another consideration is your budgie's cera. If it's brown, it means your budgie is ready to mate or has already mated. This could be a sign to you to gently touch her belly and feel for the egg. Budgies are typically extremely protective, constantly guarding and cleaning their nest. Budgie's behavior also remains consistent. Your budgie may continue to climb, but she will most likely be cautious when flying. If you put a nest box in the cage, the only thing you'll notice is that she spends most of her time in the nest box. If she can't find it, she'll make it herself in a corner of the cage. She spends most of her time cleaning the nest, making the nest out of her feathers, and simply laying down there waiting for the eggs. You may have noticed that your budgie prefers to sit at the bottom of the cage rather than on perches. She may begin scratching the cage bottom in search of nest materials. During pregnancy, 
your budgie will eat more frequently, so make sure she has enough food and fresh water. This does not have to be a sure sign of pregnancy. Your budgie may simply enjoy spending time in the nest. Alternatively, if your budgie was previously mating, she will lay an unfertilized egg. Your budgie may also become a little aggressive. They want to protect the nest, which is why they might bite you. Her partner is nearby, but any other budgie poses a threat. One very important note. And that's it. Thank you all for watching. I hope I will see you in my next video. You are awesome. Thank you for watching and subscribing. See you in my next video.